Are you tired of sifting through endless PDF invoices and are looking for easier way to extract data from them for payments or for creating database? Get ready to revolutionize your workflow and save precious time. Let's dive in and unlock the secrets of PDF data extraction. The sample PDF invoice we are using is a simple one, but this technique should work on most of the PDF invoices which are computer generated and not scanned. I will share the link to this PDF in comment section. So the data we are interested in is invoice number, order number, due date, and total due. Let's head over to ChatGPT and ask it for the code. So my question to ChatGPT is, I want to extract some data from PDF file with link below. Data will be extracted using PDF plumber library of Python and then stored in tabular format in pandas library of Python. Columns are invoice number, order number, due date and total. And here's a link to the sample PDF invoice. Keep in mind that I have already some experience with PDF plumber library which is very helpful in data extraction from a PDF. So I have specifically asked ChatGPT to use that library. So here's the code I get. So let me copy and paste the code in VS Code and let's test it. All right, so we get an OS error. It says invalid argument and it's, it's pointing towards the PDF invoice link. I'm going to download it and save it in my current directory. So here's the file, it says test invoice.pdf. So I'm going to copy the file name since it's in the same directory as my code, I can just give the file name instead of full path and it should work. Let's read on the code. All right, so we get the error that says value error. All arrays must be of same length. The error seems to be coming on line where it's trying to create the data frame. So if we look above, it's, it's on this line here where it's trying to create the data frame, which means that all the code above ran successfully. So let's take a look at the data variables because the data variable is being used to create the data frame. So I'm going to copy it and paste an interactive window. If we look at the data, we can see that the invoice number is picking up correctly. We have the order number as well, order number one, two, three, four, five, which is correct. We have the due date is correct as well, January 31, 2016. But the total column has four values in it. So it, this is a list and it has four values. So it's the first value, this is the second value, third and fourth. So this is the reason it's giving a value error that all errors must be of same length. Now, we don't want all these four values. So we need to figure out a specific text that, that we can use to segregate the one we need. So we have used total before. How about we use total due because total due is appearing only once right here. We can double check it by doing control F and we can see it's only found once. But if we do a total, it has four values in it. So this is the reason it's picking up four values. So let's modify the code a bit, head back to VS code, clear this. And the condition where it's looking for the total value, I'm going to add due with it, total due and rerun the code. All right, so far so good. So it seems like it has created an Excel or CSV file. Let me Check the CSV files. Since we are not giving any exact location to this df underscore CSV here, it's going to save it in the current directory. So we see here it says invoice underscore data. Let me open it up. So far so good. It does extract the data, but it returns some extra information. So we just need the information that is highlighted in red. So from here we need 93.5. Here we need just the date, it's the order number, and this is the invoice number right here. That's all we need right now. So let's go back to the code. And if we see here, what the code is doing is wherever it matches the search text. So for example, invoice number, wherever it matches, it's returning the whole line. Same for order number, due date, and total due. What we would like instead is that the line gets split at space and then return as the last value from the split list. If we split this, this will split into one, two, in three values and we want the last value. So it's already returning the last value that is by doing minus one and it's doing the split as well, but it's splitting at a colon. But keep in mind, we don't have a colon in here. So it's trying to split it, but there's, since there is no colon, it's not splitting it and it is returning us the whole line. So let's replace this with a space, save it, clear this and rerun the code. Okay, this is much better. We can see that we have the correct invoice number. So if I pull this side by side, the invoice number 3337, the order number is 1345. Okay, so we have due date as 2016. So we need to fix this. It's not picking up this value here, only picking up the last value, which is the year. And then we have the total value of new as 93.5. We can fix this here as total due. So now the header name will be total due here. So we need to figure out how we can return the correct due date. It's only returning 2016 right now. Let's move over to interactive window to figure this out. What we can do is we can copy paste the loop here and see what are the values before splitting it. So here I will just change it to due date. 
All right, so we can see that it's printing us these values. So one, two, three, four, five. Now just for this variable due date, we just need these three values instead of it returning right now just the last value, which is 2016. Unlike others where we just did a minus one and it returned us the correct value. Let's modify this further. So I'm going to say minus three and then colon. So what it's just doing is it's returning us the last three values. Let me run this again. And we can see we have just the last three values. Now we need to join these. So I'm going to further modify this and say space, join by space and join all of this, run it and voila. We see that we have our desired correct due date in the correct format. So I'm going to modify my original code with this. So it says split. I'm going to add this here. What it's gonna do is it will split and it will take the last three values and combine them with a the space. Let's clear our code. And let's read on it and see if we have the correct values. Okay, this is straight. We have the correct value, which is 31 Jan 2016, and which is correct here as well. So we got our desired data extracted into Excel for further processing. This code can further be improved to work on multiple files and for different PDF formats. Feel free to play around with it and let me know what you guys find in the comment section. With this done, I will wrap up the video. If you enjoy the content, support the channel by liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below and I will see you next time.